Hello everyone! In today's lesson we will be studying some probability rules. We will be focusing on these rules, mainly the combined event and conditional probability. We will understand this notation here, which means the union between two events, and this one, which is the intersection between two events, and here, conditional probability. These questions are common in IB math questions, and here we have a question to illustrate these rules. Here we have a pack of 40 cards, and they are four types. So here in the question we have, one card is selected at random from a pack of 40 cards. Let A be the event that the card is an ace. As we see, these are the four cards that are ace and H is the event that the card is heart, which is this type here. These are the heart type, and they are 10 cards. So now we have here some questions that we need to solve. We will start with this, the probability of event A. So here, as we see, A means the event that the card is an ace. If we apply this formula here, it will be the number of the cards in the event A, which is here as we see four cards. So we have four divided by n u, which means the total number of cards in the sample space, which is here 40 cards. So the answer is four divided by 40, which is one over 10. Let's now move on to another question here, the probability of A prime. So here, this notation means the complement of event A or the opposite of event A. If A means that the card is an ace, then A prime means that the card is not ace. And as we see here, we have four cards that are ace. So the cards that are not ace are the rest, which are all of these. And they will be all of the 40 minus these four, which is 36. So here, it will be 36 divided by 40, which is 9 divided by 10. But here, we can do the probability of A prime using another method, which is this, the complement event. The probability of any event A plus the probability of the opposite or complement event is always 1 or 100%. Which means, if I solve for PA prime by moving PA to the right and subtract it from 1, I will have 1 minus the probability of A, which will be now 1 minus. Here, PA, as we found, is 1 out of 10. So we have 1 divided by 10 which is again, if simplified, 9 over 10, as we got here. Let's now move on to the probability of the intersection A, intersection H. So here, this notation means the intersection between the two events A and H, or the common elements between A and H. And literally, intersection means and which means here the card must be an ace and heart. But someone might say these are the cards that are ace and heart, which are 13 cards, so the answer will be 13 divided by 40. But this is wrong because and here in probability means like this. It means the card must be ace and heart at the same time, so both together which is only one card as we see here. This is the only card that's ace and heart. And that's why the answer will be 1 divided by 40. Let's now move on to the union between two events, which is denoted like this, A union H. So here we have this symbol that means the union between two events which is simply the combination of all the elements or here the cards between the two events A and H. And literally the union means or. So as we said, the intersection means and, but the union means or, which means that the card should be A's only 
or heart only or even both at the same time so here the card must be ace or heart or even both like this so here as we see we have totally 13 cards so we will write 13 divided by 40 but now we can calculate the probability of the union using this formula here to understand the formula better and deeper and how to apply it in more advanced questions so if we use this formula then the probability of a union h will be now as we see here first we have the probability of a occurring only which is a plus the probability of h occurring only minus the intersection of both occurring at the same time so the intersection and now we'll explain why we have this minus so here if we apply the probability of a only which is a it will be as we found uh, 4 out of 40 which is here these four cards so we will have 4 divided by 40 plus now here we have the probability of h or heart only and as we see it will be these cards that are heart which are 10 so here we have plus 10 divided by 40 minus now as you see here we have the probability of intersection but why do we have this as you see here when we calculated these probabilities this card is counted twice or double counted it's counted as two cards instead of one and that's why now here we have 14 divided by 40 rather than 13 divided by 40 so that's why we will do now minus the intersection which is ace and heart at the same time which is this card as we found here it's one out of 40 so minus one divided by 40 and all of these will be 13 divided by 40 so here we got the same answer as this let's now move on to this question here the probability of a prime intersection h so here we have intersection which means and so we have a prime which is not ace so here the cards is not ace but heart at the same time and as we see these are the only cards that are not ace but heart at the same time we cannot take this because it's ace and we cannot take these because they are not heart so ace or not ace and heart at the same time will be these which are nine cards so nine divided by 40. let's move on now to conditional probability which is given in this formula so here in our question we will calculate this the probability of h given a we'll explain it now so here we have the required probability which is the probability of selecting heart given that here this vertical bar means given that and here we have the event that has already happened or we already know that it happened which is the probability of selecting ace which is here so we already know that we selected only one of these cards as if these cards are completely excluded so if we do it first without formula it will be like this we already know that the card is an ace one of these four cards what's the probability that it will be hard from them as we see we have only one heart out of these four so the answer will be 1 divided by 4 but now if we calculate it using this formula here we will have equals as we see we have the intersection first so here the probability of h and a happening so here we have a divided by here as you see we always divide by the probability of the event that has already happened which is here a so we will divide by the probability of a which will be now 
Here we have H intersection A, which is as we found before, 1 out of 40. By the way, H intersection A is the same as A intersection H, it doesn't matter. So here, 1 divided by 40. Divided by the probability of the card is an ace, which is 1 divided by 10 or 4 divided by 40. So here, 4 divided by 40. Now, cancel 40 and 40. So here we have them 1 out of 4 left as we got here in the same method.